It's already done. It's a masterpiece, huh? It's a masterpiece. All is, I have to take do something on the inside. So forming of the porch, almost done. This is the angle iron that the. You want me to hold that up for you? No, I'll go underneath and and. Uh... Oh, it's got the skill saw on it. There we go. Look at that. So this, I don't know if this is supposed to be Tapcon, but we Tapconned it. And then the joist goes. It so it holds in place. Yeah, it seems like it would roll if it wasn't. I mean, once it has maybe the weight of the concrete on it, it wouldn't do anything. I can pull them out now. No, we can leave them on. Thanks. And the roll bars, these ones are telescopic, and they go in there, and they lock into the joist. And the joist sits like so, and then the sheet of plywood on top. And then when the concrete's, after the concrete's cast, we take off the roll bars and take off the sheets of plywood and reuse the sheets of plywood. That's it. Uh, if we, if you had to build a plywood, uh, like, it would take the same amount of time, right? Uh, no, I would say this is quicker. Unless we use the steel decking, right? Yeah, no, this was, this was quicker than framing, like, Two by fours and all that shit underneath. And the only thing is taking this apart after is going to take half an hour rather than right, half right, a day. If, right. If we build out all the framing work underneath, right. If we had to and taking all the lumber out and through and the it's house, it's more and, money because when you do that, when you got to use that like three quarter ply. And, yeah, this is only half inch plywood on top of uh, yeah. on top of here. I'll definitely say this one's might be more money and. In terms of the actual system, and but uh, definitely cheaper in labor. And no, no rebar. There's no rebar, and we're just gonna put wire mesh, and that's it. And then so the, those joists, those. Hey, I'm filming. It's better. Is it better? Yeah, it's better, you <laughs> know. Is that and so the, the the joists like these are these joists take away then uh, the deflection of. Of the slabs, so they're like almost the rebar. Yeah, yeah. The reason the reason why this part of the metal is embedded in the concrete is basically it becomes like rebar. Uh, it it functions the same as rebar, and uh, and strengthens uh, the slab and takes uh, takes the deflection and stuff. So, and we're only doing four inches of concrete on top. Yeah. Of so, a, like from from the top of your floor to the plywood, you have exactly four inches. Yep. And then. From this, it's five and a quarter. Yeah, this is our drip edge, and then. Oh uh, well, yeah, he's got. We got. We're gonna put like Pat's got an idea for there. I don't know why. A uh, rope, apparently, yeah. uh, stapling rope yeah. along the thing, and that gives us a uh, that casts uh, drip edge. Are you um, are you putting wire mesh on? Uh... Yeah, six six by six wire mesh. Yeah. yeah, I don't think the drawing calls for it. Um, but I don't think we should do anything just concrete. Well, the, the uh, thing is... That, that's fighting words. Yeah. He wants to just pour concrete. Yeah. But, <laughs> well, my issue probably is that you have a rebar here, rebar there, but in the middle is nothing to, you know, um, to tie them up, you know. Rather than why mesh, we should just lay rebar then on top of it. I know it takes up too much space. Four, four inches can't put rebar in four inches. Too much space. Yep. Wire mesh. Uh, you can have the. Uh, you want to be a YouTube uh, star? Uh, f uh, f fire break glass. You can put the, uh, you know. Order. Well, so. Uh, that's just supposed to be uh, taken. I away could, from. I could do Euclid, but that would require uh, time. Uh, I did, I did want to try out Euclid, but. I don't have time by before Saturday to get that. Have you ever done Euclid? Those look like nails inside the concrete. Like fiberglass. fiberglass reinforced. Yeah. Well, they make a fiberglass one and they make a metal one. And the one, one that most people use is the metal one. It looks just like a spiral nail. It's about this long, and they they chuck it inside the uh, inside. They mix it inside the concrete. Really? Yeah. 
and they do it they do it in the either in the truck or in the factory and then it basically reports uh, replaces like 10 m bar at, at 16 inches on center come on yeah i'm being serious Hang on. with those uh did you drill holes um i'm still filming i can stop now all right so now i'm down inside the coal, the cellar get a better idea of the joists so the joists are at four four feet on centers and then there's the bracket on the because the, the first and last bay is a little bit uh shorter and there you see the roll bars as they go inside the little brackets and uh, the plywood's actually resting on the roll bars not uh, on the joists and I got some pipe already in here. So you get basically a big open space. Uh, the joists can span like ridiculous lengths. Uh, you know, the last project we, uh, we used it on, we spanned a 20 foot uh, porch, uh, clear span, no beams, no steel, uh, no rebar. And uh, you get the, you know, you can use the joists obviously from the inside. Uh, you can use it to pass plumbing through it like this or mechanical if, uh, if it wasn't a uh, cold storage room. So, there you go. I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, and I can give you a quick update on this too. Look at this fancy. This is, I'm going to fill this with nice stone. And uh, this is my basically my moisture trap. Uh, so if the cold storage isn't producing enough uh, moisture, uh, the moisture from the ground will come up into the space or I can add a little bit of water that will evaporate. And we're going to leave the Duracell exposed. I've done that uh, many times in the past. I'll probably just uh, use a, a belt, belt sander or something like that to um, clean off a few things. And the old concrete wall, we're actually going to, we've cut um, the faces off of the extra blocks and we're going to uh, glue um, those blocks onto this wall so it's going to look like a uh, seamless finish on the inside.